morning and welcome to this Thursday morning edition of Morning Prayer with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. For those of you that are following along with the Book of Common Prayer, our psalm this morning will be Psalm number 50. Psalm 50. Let us pray. The Lord is holy in his temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that, that we have, have sinned, sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. Come, let us adore him. Let us now say together the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let, let us shout, shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord renews the face of the earth. Come, let us adore him. Psalm 50 The Lord, the God of gods, has spoken. He has called the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in its beauty, God reveals himself in glory. Our God will come and will not keep silence. Before him there is a consuming flame, a round about him a raging storm. He calls the heavens and the earth from above to witness the judgment of his people. Gather before me my loyal followers, those who have made a covenant with me and sealed it with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare the rightness of his cause, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will bear witness against you, for I am God, your God. I do not accuse you because of your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I will take no bull calf from your stalls, nor he goats out of your pens. For all the beasts of the forest are mine, the herds in their thousands upon the hills. I know every bird in the sky, and the creatures of the fields are in my sight. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the whole world is mine and all that is in it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. 
and make good your vow to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall honor me. But to the wicked God says, Why do you recite my statutes and take my covenant upon your lips? Since you refuse discipline and toss my words behind your back. When you see a thief, you make him your friend, and you cast in your lot with adulterers. You have loosed your lips for evil and harnessed your tongue to a lie. You are always speaking evil of your brother and slandering your own mother's son. These high things you have done, and I kept still, and you thought like I am like you. I have made my accusation. I have put my case in order before your eyes. Consider this well. You forgot God lest I rend you, and there be none to deliver you. Whoever offers me the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, but to those who keep in my way will I show the salvation of God. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Moreover, I saw under the sun that in the place of just, justice, wickedness was there, and in the place of righteousness, wickedness was there as well. I said in my heart, God will judge the righteous and the wicked, for he has appointed a time for every matter and for every work. I said in my heart with regard to human beings, that God is testing them to show that they are but animals. For the fate of humans and the fate of animals is the same. As one dies, so dies the other. They all have the same breath, and humans have no advantage over the animals. For all is vanity. All go to one place. All are from the dust, and all turn to dust again. Who knows whether the human spirit goes upward, and the spirit of animals goes downwards to the earth. So I saw that there is nothing better than that all should enjoy their work, for that is their lot. Who can bring them to see what will be after them? Again I saw all the oppressions that are practiced under the sun. Look, the tears of the oppressed, with no one to comfort them. On the side of their oppressors was power, with no one to comfort them. And I thought the dead who had already died more fortunate than the living who are still alive. But better than both is the one who has not yet been and has not seen the evil deeds that are done under the sun. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join us in saying canticle number eight, the song of Moses. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, 
the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Galatians. You foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? It was before your eyes that Jesus Christ was publicly exhibited as crucified. The only thing I want to learn from you is this. Did you receive the Spirit by doing the works of the law or by delivering what you heard? Are you so foolish? Having started with the Spirit, you are now ending with the flesh. Did you experience so much for nothing? If it really was for nothing, well then, does God supply you with the Spirit and work miracles among you by your doing the good work, the works of the law, or by you believing what you heard? Just as Abraham believed God, and it was reckoned to him as righteousness, so you see, those who believe are the descendants of Abraham. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, declared the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, All the Gentiles shall be blessed in you. For this reason, those who believe are blessed with Abraham who believes. For all who rely on the works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who does not observe and obey all the things written in the book of the law. Now it is evident that no one is justified before God by the law. For the one who is righteous will live by faith. But the law does not rest on faith. On the contrary, whoever does the works of the law will live by them. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, in order that Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham, might come to the Gentiles, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join us in sing, saying together canticle number 19, the song of the redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth. O king of all the ages, who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Now when Jesus heard this, he withdrew from there in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great cow crowd, and he had compassion on them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, We have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all eat and ate and were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces, twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about five thousand men, besides women and children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's
us now say together the Apostles' Creed, which can be found on page 96 of the Book of Common Prayer, the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us say together the traditional version of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, your never-failing providence sets in order all things both in heaven and earth. Put away from us, we entreat you, all hurtful things, and give us those things which are profitable for us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your Holy Church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This morning, in the World Cycle of Prayer, we pray for the people of Poland. In the Ecumenical Cycle of Prayer, we pray for our sisters and brothers, members of the Similungan Protestant Christian Church. O God, the Eternal, the King Eternal, so divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when night comes, re rejoice to give you thanks, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs, and for those of others. Asking especially prayers and blessings for St. Mary's Episcopal Church. And for St. James, help us pray. We pray for Sue and Kelly, David and Becky. Casey and Crawford, Bob, Kevin and Bo. We lift up to you, gracious God, all the medical professionals and personnel, military, public safety officers, officers police, fire and EMT especially in these turbulent times. Gracious God, we lift them up to your care and guidance. Dear Lord, we thank you for those who have recovered from the coronavirus. And we 
ask you to be with those who are currently afflicted, especially Rosie and Keith, Lauren and Mark. And gracious God, we lift up to you all of those people on St. Mary's prayer list, those with ongoing needs and those with urgent needs, especially Amy Olson, Ryan Olson, Dara, Lola, Fred, Perry, Carol, Karen, Alyssa, Diane, and Bruce. Are there others? Lonnie? Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, guide the nations of the world in the way of justice and truth, and establish among them that peace which is the fruit of righteousness, that they may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping all the men and women of the armed forces, all of our public safety officers, firefighters, police, and EMTs at home and abroad. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them, and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things on earth, you made us fellow workers in your creation. Give us wisdom and reverence, so to use the resources of nature, that no one may suffer from our abuse of them, and that generations yet to come may continue to praise you for your bounty, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us say together, particularly in these turbulent times, the prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercy that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, our, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.
May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you all this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. We thank you for joining us this morning for our Thursday morning prayer at St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. We hope you gave us a comment or a like to let us know you were watching. And we hope you join us this evening at 6 o'clock for Thursday evening prayer. Please remember that our Sunday services will still be live streamed at 9 o'clock in the morning on Sundays until further notice. We hope you join us then, and we hope you have a good set day and a safe day. God bless you.